Hi, this is Dr. Sandy Schaefer from Shadron State College, and we're one of the 27 schools affiliated with NAM, the International Music Products Association. I'm here in Austin, Texas at the 2007 Summer NAM Show interviewing people in the music products industry. My purpose in this series of interviews is to highlight some of the exciting careers available to students in the music business. who's uh, Vice President of uh, National Sales. National Sales for the Hal Leonard Corporation. So Dave, so tell us about your, your path uh, into the music, the business. How did you get where you are now? I went to school at UW Oshkosh. Oh. That's where you and I met. That's where you and I met. Professor for drums. And realized early on that I didn't quite have what it took to be a performer. And I loved music, loved the music industry. Uh, but just didn't quite have the chops to be to make it at a actual performance level. So I started looking at other options, and one of the options was a music merchandising route through through Oshkosh, and it's a nice combination of music and business. Go through school, graduate, then I start looking for a job, um, and one of my first places to get employed was Tony's Drum Shop in Appleton, Wisconsin. I bought most of my gear from Tony throughout college, and Tony was a great guy. I just walked into his store one day, and they said, Tony, I'm graduating from college, and I need a job. And he said, great, my manager's leaving in a week, and uh, <clears throat> I'd love to bring you on as manager of the store. I'll never forget this. I walk into the store my first day. Tony sits me down after showing me how to uh, turn off the alarm system sits me down and says, okay, you're going to have to go into a very abbreviated training program because I'm leaving for a USO tour of Germany <laughs> in a week. And here's all the stuff I need you to do. You're going to be ordering all the stuff and doing everything. The only thing he had covered was payroll. So I go through the week, baptism by fire, calling all the manufacturers and everything, and boom. Right after that, Tony leaves for, for Germany, and I'm alone in the store. So the first thing I decided to do is I was going to re-merchandise the store. So I started moving things around. People were coming in, and I had a great time working retail. So when he came back after the month, and he walks up to the counter, and checking people out, and he puts this big German beer stein <laughs> on the counter, cracks open a beer, pours it in the beer stein, gives it to me, and said, congratulations, we had a profit last month. And that was my introduction into the music business. That's great. Took it upon yourself to rearrange the store to make it more customer friendly and it increased its profits. Exactly. I really, really can't stress and emphasize enough the retail experience. Um, it's, it's just so important for any career path, regardless of where you want to go in the music industry. Because uh, the retailer is really that conduit between the manufacturers and the consumers, the players. And you're in that middle ground, and you're dealing with both. You're dealing with the consumers coming in that have the love and the passion of music, just like you do. But it also gives you a bird's eye view of the manufacturers. And you, I got to start to see the manufacturers that were doing things like responding quickly when I placed phone calls, mm -hmm. or um, even the simple things like how were their how were their packages when they came in? What shape were the drums? What shape were the accessories? Did it look like things were just thrown in the box or were things really nicely assembled? Mm -hmm. And you got to see which companies really kind of had it together and which other ones didn't. And as I was going through Tony's, <coughs> I was playing out regularly. I was in three different bands mm -hmm. uh, and teaching. Um, and then probably the single most worst thing that could happen to a musician happened to me. I got married <laughs> and finally realized I, I need to really figure out what I'm going to be doing. So I started to take a look at options and I used my retail experience to take a look at the companies that I'd, that I'd want to go to work for and one of them in Milwaukee, Wisconsin actually stood out and it was the Hal Leonard Corporation. So I went to the who's who book of the music industry and just to find <laughs> out names, you know, not knowing. and I actually sent resumes out to 20 different companies, including Yamaha, Zildjian, at that time a company in Minneapolis called Pure Cushion. Mm -hmm. um, they made the rings mounting systems. Yeah. Uh, Hoshino, um, Hal Leonard, everybody. Mm -hmm. And then 
did the one thing that not enough college students do now, which is actually call people back. That's the other thing I'd like to recommend. If you send out resumes, you should always call whoever you sent the resume to at least two weeks after you send it out. So I called, and the first person on my list was a man by the name of Keith Mardak. And I really didn't know who Keith was. He was just the name as far as the contact on the Who's Who book. So I sent the resume to Keith, called him back in two weeks, and got his assistant who said, Keith is in a meeting, you know, I'll let him know he called. And just for those who may not know, Keith Mardak is the, at that time, the chairman of the board and president and owner of the company. And Keith called me back within 10 minutes. He said, heard you called. I was like, my name is David Yankee, sent your resume. Mm -hmm. You know, what did you think? He said, a guy by the name of Larry Morton will call you back in 10 minutes. So I'm fine. I still didn't know who Keith was at the time. <laughs> so great. So Larry, in five minutes, called me back. And we just started having a conversation. He asked about my background in the past. And in the middle of the conversation, he said, well, did you know who you were talking to? It's like, no, Keith. It's like, well, he's the owner of the company. <laughs> and at that time, I kind of sat back and thought, if I would have known he was the owner of the company, I probably wouldn't have actually sent him my application resume. But now I'm glad I did, because uh, he got me right to the top right away. That really sat well with me. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, man, this is a company if the president and owner of the company will take the time to talk to somebody wanting to come in for a job, that's that's the company I want to work for. Yeah. And I've been there for 15 years. What also impressed me is they, they saw your work ethic and people skills, so they they recognized that and encouraged that and gave you the experiences that you needed. Oh, yeah. Have. I mean, I, I talked to you once, and you were going to Spain and Italy to negotiate the publication of some guitar book. Exactly. Thought, that is cool. Exactly. You know, I'll tell you, for most music companies, even regardless of your degree and experience, they're going to bring you in at a very ground level. Sure. They're going to bring you in at entry position. And it's up to you to make the most of that job. Have you ever, uh, one of the books I read recently is a book called Fish, Catch the Potential, Release the Energy, something mm -hmm. like that. It's based on the fish shop out in Seattle. It just talks about how you create, you know, fun with where you're at. And I, th I think one of the quotes is, you know, learn to love the job you're doing even if you're not doing the job you love, which is a quote that's kind of stuck with me. Mm -hmm. And I use that even starting off at the very ground position. I mean, I was, I was as low <laughs> at Hal Leonard as they would allow somebody to come in, answering telephone calls as they came in. But... I turned it into having fun. Mm -hmm. And the more I had fun with it, the more people wanted to call me. Mm -hmm. and the more people that talked to me, the more management said, wow, this guy's got something. So within three months of starting there, I moved to become a district sales manager. So then I was responsible for my own territory, my own budget. And I had a great time contacting people and talking to them about their stores. Um, made a lot of really good friends in drum shops <laughs> and used my retail experience yeah. to be able to relay what our products could do for them mm -hmm. and I understand some of the troubles that they were going through and, mm -hmm. and just kept a positive spin on that and so a district sales manager and I was there for about three years where they promoted me to a senior district sales manager and then um, we started a joint venture with a company in the UK called Hal Leonard Europe. Mm -hmm. And that was to sell Hal Leonard products into the European Union. So I was one of the people that went over there as a um, trainer to train our sales reps on how to sell our products. And then I did. I got to travel to some wonderful places. I got to travel to Spain, mm -hmm. uh, to Italy, um, and work on publications, work on sales, meeting a lot of people internationally. It was, it was a wonderful experience. And then from there, I moved to a national sales manager and kept on working up to vice president, national sales. That's what a great story. 